In 1866, Dr. John Langdon Hayden Down worked in the English Hospital for People with Mental Disabilities. He noticed that many of them shared certain physical features, the features that we now associate with Down Syndrome. It was named after Dr. Down. Dr. Down didn't know what caused it though. About 100 years later, a French scientist figured out the problem was genetic. This is Jamie and Taylor. They are fraternal twins. Jamie suffers from a mild to serious case of Down syndrome. What is Down syndrome, you might ask? Well, most people have 23 pairs of chromosomes for a total of 46. But a baby with Down syndrome has an extra chromosome, 47 instead of 46, or one chromosome has an extra part. This extra genetic material causes problems with the way their bodies develop. Babies with Down syndrome tend to develop more slowly than other babies do. They may start walking later than other babies do. About half are born with heart defects, which means there is usually something different with the way their hearts develop. Usually, these problems can be corrected by surgery. Some babies also may have problems in their stomachs or a blockage in their intestines that prevent them from digesting food properly. About one out of every 800 babies born has Down syndrome, no matter what race or nationality the parents are. Some people with Down syndrome share the same physical features such as a flatter face, upward slanting eyes, and a somewhat larger tongue. They may have small or misshapen ears, a large space between the big toe and the second toe, and a crease that goes along the palms of their hands. Kids with Down syndrome are more likely to get infections that affect their lungs and breathing. When they do get infections, they often last longer. They may have an eye or ear problems or digestion problems like constipation. At one time, most kids with Down syndrome did not live past childhood. Many would often become sick from infections. Others would die from their heart problems or other problems they had at birth. Today, most of these health problems can be treated and most kids who have it will go into adulthood. Medicines can help with infections and surgery can correct heart, stomach, and intestinal problems. If this person gets leukemia, there are medicine treatments that can be very successful. Someone with Down syndrome has a good chance of living to be 50 years old or more. Isn't that right, Jamie? I'm